assalamu alaikum welcome back to coding with t today we are going to learn how to create a folder structure in flutter a folder structure should be professional and it should be expandable any large application can easily incorporate into this folder structure if new we are creating flutter e-commerce application and we are inside section 1 app configuration in this we are going to configure this application it is not directly linked with an e-commerce application but you can create any application based on this app configuration so make sure you watch the video till end Okay, first of all, let's uh, talk about why we need folder structure in Flutter. Flutter basically don't provide any default folder structure because of its flexibility, or you can say we don't have any rigid structure already defined by the Flutter. So we can define our own folder structure. You can create your own folder structure. So it's not something specific that we are going to talk about. The reason we need a folder structure is uh, if your application is small enough, then maybe you don't need any folder structure. Then above this, uh, we have two types of applications. The one which is growing, which is a large application, like the one we are going to create. And on the other hand, we have some applications like to-do app, calculator, and some apps like that. So for that, we are going to see that what type of folder structures we have currently running in the market. So the first thing that if we are not going to use the folder structure, our apps gets messy. It's very difficult to find files and folders. And again, if you are uh, working with a team, it will be a very clear convention. If you use some folder structure, your team will know where to find which thing. So your team will add new features in a consistent manner because you are already following some convention. And definitely it's going to be a very costly operation because if your developers or if we as a developer spending more time on finding files rather than development then then it's not going to be a useful approach so that's why we need folder structures so now let's see what two type of folder structures currently flutter community adopts the first one is the layer based folder structure and the second one is the feature based folder structure layer based folder structure is as you can see on your screen contains layers and then inside the layers we place all the features so let's say we have a layer of presentation domain or you can convert it into mvc like controllers views and models or you can say presentation application domain and data so these are basically the layers and inside these layers we're going to code everything related to our application so let's say we have an authentication feature we have to create a presentation layer copy of the authentication application copy domain copy and data copy of one single feature which is the authentication feature so everything of authentication feature will divide according to the layers but on the other hand if we talk about the feature first approach we don't have to divide authentication into multiple layers but we will create a feature at the top the feature is authentication feature could be personalization feature could be anything else then inside a specific feature which is authentication we will put all the layers in it so authentication will have its controllers, its views, its models, everything will be inside the authentication feature. So this is another approach. Uh, we recommend using feature first for the large applications and layer first for the small applications. The reason is very clear. For the feature first, let's say we have created an application which is an e-commerce application and uh, this application currently don't have any chat module and it's live. Now our client demanded us to create chat module inside this application so we only have to create a new feature which is a chat feature and inside that we can create its own controllers models views so let's say we have a rest of the team who is working on some other project or other modules some other features so definitely it's not gonna interlinked by using this technique we can add multiple features so definitely it's an expandable that's why we are going to use the feature first approach Okay, now let's head back to Android Studio. In here, I have created a new Flutter project. It's a default project created by Flutter. If you don't know how to create a Flutter project or if you're new to the Flutter, I suggest you to watch a Flutter crash course. Link is in the description or you can get it from the right top corner. Okay, first of all, let's talk about uh, these folders, files and folders already created. So this is the entry point. At the top, you can see when you create a new project, you might have some other options selected, but you have to go to the project. And inside, this is the root of our application, which is a Flutter application. And inside, we have all the files. So this is the Android specific, which is which contains all the native files related to Android. This is all the native files related to iOS. And in here, you can see a new folder, which currently you don't have. I have just created an empty folder. To create this empty folder, you just have to right click at the root level, create a new. 
and you have to create a new directory name it assets and by this way you can create assets folder and by same way inside you again have to create a new directory and you will create fonts icons images and logos so we will place everything related to icons images logos videos fonts all the data will be inside this root level it's all up to you to create a folder to create multiple folders the only thing that we need to be careful is that we have to call these folder paths inside our pubspec.yml file we'll see it in a minute so this is related to ios now this folder which is a lib folder which is specifically for flutter coding we will develop or we will create or we will add everything related to flutter inside this lib folder and it will automatically build ios android and down below you can see web files for us so we will be focusing on this lib folder and definitely assets folder for our assets okay now let's talk about the pubspec file which is the pubspec.yml file this is a default file and you can see a lot of comments over here this file contains name description published version you can see the version over here sdk which currently the application is using after that inside the dependencies we will add all the packages inside this dependencies you can see the one added by default which is cupertino icons after that we have development dependencies and then down below here we are going to add two things from the assets first of all we have two assets over here so i was talking about the assets folder whatever the name of the folder whatever files you have inside the folder you don't have to mention the files but you have to mention all the folders in here and down below we are going to also use custom fonts not google fonts if you want to use google fonts it's all up to you so let me just customize this pubspec for a minute to remove the comments press ctrl plus r to replace to replace this we have comments starting with the hash sign then we have to write dot asterisk means select the whole line starting from this hash sign and replace it with nothing replace all and you can see every comment is replaced with the empty space now we can easily remove and sort everything let me just do it quickly okay i've just added all the comments and remove everything or all the spaces so first of all you can see at the top we have a name of the application description published to and version of our application then we have the target sdk and then in the dependencies you can see i have already added packages so we will add utility packages icons i have just added a new package which is the icons x this uh, these are the icons we are going to use in our project then we have already cupertino and this is a state management which is getx state management that we are going to use in our application after that we will add everything related to product specific packages then we have development dependencies and inside the flutter to add these assets you have to make sure that identification should be perfectly assigned so you can see before assigning assets i have two spaces one and two and then i have written assets and down below again we have one and two then hyphen sign after the hyphen sign i have only one space after that how we can write this assets you just have to go to the fonts right click copy path reference and in here you can copy path from content root you just have to paste it right over here and make sure you have to end it with the backslash right this means without ending with the backslash it's not gonna add everything inside it right so you have to make sure that end should be with a backslash means every image video icon inside this folder should be added automatically right so we're not going to add fonts because we don't need fonts as we're going to define fonts uh, down below over here so i'll keep it as logos so we have icons images and logos already defined over here so if we create another project inside the icons let's create let's say i'm going to create a new directory icons of brands so i have to define icons and then icons of brands and if i have something else then again i have to create icons of that specific folder let's say icons of categories so again we have to create the same folder over here okay next we have fonts uh, because you can see i have added fonts manually inside the fonts folder so to define the fonts same you have to give identification of two spaces then next again two spaces and a hyphen sign then you have to write one space family family name of the font then again right below the family you have to write the fonts i have added different sizes this is light and how you can get this you have to go to the fonts let's say this is a bold right click again copy path reference 
you have to choose this path from content root this is for the board so i am going to paste it right over here you can see and it does not contain any forward slash or backslash so when we are pointing towards the exact file we will not add anything if we are pointing towards the folder then we are going to add backslash assign the weight if style is italic you can assign that you can assign bunch of other things so once the pub spec file is completed this is how we are going to keep our pub spec file let's close it let's close the main file for now after adding the assets make sure when you add, change anything you should have to run the command flutter pub get but for now let's try to add everything inside the lib folder the same way you can see on your screen we have added we are going to use the feature first approach so let me create folders here okay you can see i have created a folder structure it's not just for the e-commerce application but you can use this folder structure for any application so first of all we are going to use bindings because we are going to use the getx so bindings we will learn in our upcoming videos so we will place all the bindings in here then in the common we are going to place all the common styles or all the common widgets in here in these folders you can add anything more anything extra if we have a data inside the data you can see we have repositories and services these both are going to deal with the cloud queries repositories are mostly dealing with firestore firebase and services are going to be dealing with apis and payment services then we have a features inside the features we have authentication feature personalization and shop feature so then inside the authentication inside repositories and inside shop you can see each feature contains layers controllers models and screens controllers model screens and same for the third feature let's say in future we are going to add some more features so we just have to right click create a new package from here which is it is a folder and inside we are going to copy all these layers and we simply start coding so this is for the features layer then localization is about the languages we will in future gonna add multiple languages so that's why we have to use this folder now comes the utils folder it's a very important folder and specifically for the utils we are going to talk about in the next video inside the constants we have to keep multiple folders multiple files in the constants uh, we are going to keep all the colors colors file we will learn how to add enums how to add image strings because we don't want to keep on repeating the image strings then we're gonna, we are going to keep all the sizes of our application then we have the text strings and definitely api constants will go inside this constants after that we have the device everything related to device functions we will add everything inside this and same in the next video we're going to learn how to create a device utility in which we will add how to hide a keyboard how to these are the some helper functions related to devices how to hide keyboard set status bar color is devices landscape orientation or horizontal orientation set full screen set screen height set screen width and bunch of other options related to device then we have the formatters for the formatters we uh, we can create formats like date formats we will create some helper functions for the date formats and we just have to pass date to these functions and we'll get the resultant response then we have some currency formats some phone number formats and bunch of other things we can add inside the formats then we are definitely going to have helper functions then we will learn how to add http local storage helper functions logger helper functions and definitely above all a very important thing that every project if you ask me every project should have a predefined theme because by using this theme by defining everything inside the theme in your custom theme you will or you are already done with the 90 percent of the application you just have to place things around and you're good to go so definitely we're going to learn this as well in the next tutorial after that we are going to add validators for the email phone number password full name and different validators we can add over here so this is the utility we will add that in the next tutorial then we have the main dot dart definitely main dot dart is we will see the main dot dart after the configuration so for now whenever you change this pub spec file you just have to click on the get dependency to load everything in it so for now let's recap we learn how to add assets inside the pub spec file we learn what is pub spec file two types of flutter folder structures and we already implemented the feature first approach and bunch of other folders so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new if you learn something new please like the video and if you are new subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about the latest about the upcoming videos thank you for watching take care allah hafiz